Over the last seven years, I've witnessed and reported on Rwanda's journey to economic and social transformation. Focused exclusively at unlocking investment and growth of off-grid and small-scale energy solutions on the African continent. Making sure that the people of Rwanda own the electoral process. The Umushanana, if picked correctly, will see you oozing with beauty. The government of Rwanda says it is serious in attracting investors. It's been over seven years since Rwanda officially joined the East African community. The weathermen and officials right here in Rwanda are saying that there is no cause for alarm. I've been able to interact with the country's top leadership. Eugene Anangu. Based on some of the different people. Yeah, I see you on Twitter <laughs> several times. <laughs> Go ahead. It can transform the lives of people who may have never touched a smartphone. And as another of the biggest activities in the ICT's events calendar comes to a close right in Rwanda, my role is to feed the region and the world with accurate information about what's happening here and to separate the myths and facts about Rwanda. I've never heard of any foreign political party addressing a government or a country or a nation. Under no circumstances, shall a person hold the office of the president for more than two terms. So it's very clear. Will this only be exclusive for President Paul Kagame? I'm Eugene Anangwe, special correspondent in Rwanda, and this is KTN News.